So we teased you about how an Oscar winner tints her hair. Here's the scoop. Nicole Kidman dyes her fiery red hair with cranberry juice. It gives her a more natural um, red stain. Stars are sticklers when it comes to having the right hair, and not just atop their head. Razors and wax gave way to lasers years ago, but celebs are now zapping the lines around their luscious locks to help frame their face. Dana Elise at Laser Solutions is a master hairline sculptor. Here at Laser Solutions, uh, some of the procedures that the celebrities come for are the photo facials and laser hair removal, which are two of our signature treatments. So this is Ratika's second treatment, and we're going to just trim back and sculpt your hairline a little bit more. A lot of women tend to have low foreheads, or they'll have quite a bit of sideburn hair, and it's hereditary and sometimes hormonal, and it just closes the face. You have a much more beautiful, appealing face and people feel much more confident. She's Indian and she had quite a bit of excessive hair and it came down all on her cheeks, chin, lip. We brought open her forehead and we also included the back of her neck. It really has made a difference for her uh, confidence. And they can wear their hair in a lot of different fashions instead of keeping it covering their face because they're so uncomfortable having that excessive hair. Well, I want to welcome Brandy Roderick to Laser Solutions today. <laughs> Former Baywatch babe Brandy Roderick co-stars in the film version of Starsky and Hutch. Today, Brandy is getting her first photo facial. All right, Brandy, we're going down to the last area of your face. We're coming along the jawline. Okay. Photo facials target four things. They're targeting fine lines, poor size, and the most important, anything that's vascular or red, so like rosacea or broken capillaries that a lot of people tend to get around their nose from sun damage. Who says no pain, no gain? Photo facials laugh in the face of traditional skin remedies. The procedure uses non-invasive lasers, so there's no ouch factor, and results are immediate. The goal is to make skin look so young and healthy that makeup is no longer needed. Brandy, being in the business, wants to make sure that her skin is at, at top grade, being on camera. And so a lot of models and celebrities come in because they want to keep the fine lines away. Now, I have a meeting right after this. Can I go ahead and put my makeup on and go Absolutely. To it? Yes. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about a thing when it comes to right after the photo facial. Stars get VIP treatment, even when Dana is pruning unwanted hair or erasing skin spots. Our after-hour celebrity parties are, um, we've been keeping them a secret, but only the celebrities and their posses, so to speak, know about them. We have wine and hors d'oeuvres and make it a really beautiful setting. The gentleman in the photograph is a very famous celebrity of ours and he had sun damage. He's on tour constantly, and what has happened is uh, over the years, it just piled up. So we were able to lift off by targeting the melanin, lifting that uh, hyperpigmentation off and leaving the skin much lighter and even toned. Dana and her team also do ab sculpting. That's a fancy way to say trimming belly fuzz to give male celebrity clients a mock six pack. We also do that on our celebrities for their abdomen. Uh, a lot of men will have hair all the way out to the sides and sculpting it down towards a V, towards the belly button, um, gives the illusion of them having about 10 pounds off. Lots of Hollywood guys are known for that perfectly unkempt 5 o'clock shadow. Here's a little secret. Even looking ungroomed takes grooming. Having that angular look, especially for a gentleman who may have more weight on him, um, bringing in the angles of the face can take about 10 pounds off uh, to, of the face. So David, welcome. Nice Today, to see you again. Nice to see you again, too. I'm going to do a little bit more angle right along your beard line. And this will get rid of all of those nasty little dark hairs that yeah. were creating the shadow. Whenever I'd go for the Colin Farrell look, for some reason this side would grow up higher and it looked a little odd. Un unfortunately, there's never one side that is exactly like the other, yeah. so that's what I'm here for. And this way, if he wants to have a three-day growth and, um, you know, have a relaxing weekend, he still looks manicured. So it's a much more angular, uh, sexy look on him. And then I want to get rid of these pesky 
Mm -hmm. Little ingrown hairs that you've been getting across your neck. We're constantly removing ingrowns for our celebrities. They're on camera all the time, and having ingrowns or a pimple um, is horrible. It shows up like twice as large. 